Hi, boys and girls. We're going to read one of my favorite stories, and I know you're probably going to say, Miss Jamie, you say that about every story. Well, I do have a lot of favorites because my favorite thing of the whole day is reading stories, and I love it. So, today's story is, is The Three Billy Goats Fluff. Okay, so this is the front of the story, and the title starts here. Remember, we're reading from left to right, so it's The Three Billy Goats Fluff. And the author and the illustrator are down here. Remember, the author is the person who writes the stories. Those are the words. And the illustrator is the person who draws the beautiful pictures. So this book was written by Rachel Mortimer and is illustrated by Liz Pushon. So this is the cover, the front of the book. This is the back. And this is the spine, and the spine has an important job. Remember, the spine keeps all the pages together so it doesn't fall on the floor. It makes it a book and makes it so we can read it. So the billy goats fluff. Remember we read um, the three billy goats gruff the other day, and remember the troll was mean and ugly and stinky, and he lived under the bridge. And what he wanted out of life most was to eat those goats. And all the goats wanted to do was cross that bridge and eat the grass on the other side. Remember that. Remember how mean the troll was? Well, this book is about the troll and how the troll lives under the bridge. And all he wants to do is sleep. He's so tired. He wants to sleep. He bought his new house, which is under the bridge, and... He wants to sleep, and the tro and the the goats keep trip trapping across, and it's really loud, and he's mad because he wants to sleep. Have you ever felt that way? Have you ever tried to sleep, and something's making a lot of noise, and it just you just can't sleep. It makes it so difficult, and you become a grumpy bear, Urgh. and you don't, you don't have any patience for anything. You just you just feel like you just just want to be mean because. You're tired and you're irritated, right? So that's what this this goat this goat is feeling. So I want you to sit tight, get comfortable, and here we go. So the three Billy Goats fluff. And this story is beautiful. The illustrator did a wonderful job. Now I want to show you the first page. Now look underneath. See there's the there's the three billy goats just doing their thing. Trip, trap, trip, trap, being loud. And there's Mr. Troll under the bridge. And he's got something on his head. And it's a pillow. And he is trying to be quiet. Okay, so here we go. So the, the troll is underneath the bridge. And he's got a look on his face. Oh, he just wants to sleep. Here we go. How was he supposed to sleep? Mr. Troll buried his head in his pillow and groaned. Oh, he said. He looked back at the newspaper advertisement. It said, Troll Paradise, Riverside apartment with a slimy toad and running beetle juice. It's a great pad for sale. How could he have fallen for it? What the advertisement had not said? That it was noisy. Underneath the only bridge from the Rocky Mountain to the lush green field. A room with a trashy view. On the mountain, next to Mr. Troll's bridge, live the three Billy Goats Fluff. They love to eat the lush green grass in the field next to the bridge. It made their fleeces extra fluffy, important for Mother Goat's knitting business. The three Billy Goats Fluff cross the bridge twice a day. But this morning, Mr. Troll had a surprise for them. There's a big sign. It says, no trip trapping over my bridge. Trip trappers will be eaten from Mr. Troll. Little Billy Goat had not yet learned to read. So he set off as usual. He put one hoof on that bridge when Mr. Troll leaped out. I'm a troll with a very sore head. Stop trip trapping over my bed. When I'm tired and feeling blue, there's nothing quite like three Billy Goats stew. The little Billy Goat was very scared, and he scampered back to his mother goat. See, I told you, when you're tired, sometimes you feel grumpy and mean, and that's what Mr. Troll feels. The next came the middle-sized Billy Goat Fluff. He, his hooves were louder than the little Billy Goats, and Mr. Troll leaped out again. 
I'm a troll in a very bad mood. Waking me up is terribly rude. Middle-sized goats make a lovely roast or pate upon my toast. The middle-sized billy goat raced back to the big billy goat, and they were both too scared to cross the bridge. We're telling our mom on you. Everybody's scared. That troll is very, very grumpy. And he's threatening to eat them. I think I would probably be scared too. And I would run back to my mom and say, Mom, there's a troll trying to eat us. So Miss, the Mother Goat thought about her, the story that the trolls, about the troll. And she knew what it was like to live without sleep. Little Billy Goat had her up every night. So that night while she sat knitting the finest Billy Goat fluff, Mother Goat came up with an idea. The next day, Mr. Troll was waiting for them. Ooh, he looks really grumpy now. I am a troll who's really cross. It's time to show you that I'm the boss. When I'm tired, I need to eat goat and fries, my favorite treat. The big billy goat trembled as he handed Mr. Troll a present and a note for Mother Goat. If you can hear us trip trapping by, then you can make three billy goats pie. But if we're quiet as tiny mice, you must stop being grumpy and start being nice. Look. There's the present she brought that she made for them. That was nice of her to make a present. And you're not going to believe what she made. We are not going to look in the package yet. But first, she made something else. Something on their feet. What did she make? What are these? The little Billy Goat Fluff was the first to try out Mother Goat's pan plan. She shakily put on those hand-knitted booties. They were so fluffy and bright yellow, his favorite color. Slowly, he stepped out onto the bridge. Mr. Troll was listening from his bedroom, but he heard nothing. Nothing. The middle-sized Billy Goat was next. His hose were shaking as he put on four exceedingly fluffy Booties, they were pink. Middle-sized Billy Goat was a real softy. Look, they're pink. Carefully, he stepped out onto the bridge. Mr. Troll had his ear pressed to the roof, but he couldn't hear a thing. Look at his face. His face is starting to get happy. How do I know that? Look, he has a sm he's starting to get a smile on his face. Finally, it was the big billy goat's fluff's turn. His booties have taken most of the night to knit. With four big, huge pom-poms on the hooves, Miss Billy Goat, go, I'm sorry, big billy goat, stepped onto the bridge. Mr. Troll strained his ears. Silence at last. How had they done it? How were they so quiet? What did they do? Do you know? They put on booties. But that's not all. Remember, Mother Goat made them, made that troll a present and he's opening it up and guess what it is mr troll came out from under the bridge he looked at the three billy goats happily munching in the grass across the field he looked at his present for mother goat and he opened it inside were the fluffiest earmuffs that he had ever seen wrapped inside of one of mother goat's special blankies and she wrote him a note and it said Dear Mr. Troll, we're very sorry for waking you up. We hope that this gift helps you have your best sleep ever. Love, Mother Goat and the Three Billy Goats Fluff. So that night, Mr. Troll drank a hot cup of beetle juice, read his favorite bedtime story, and then he put on his big fluffy earmuffs and cuddled with his soft green blankie. And that night, for the first time in his brand new house, he dreamt about fluffy clouds and fluffy toads and fluffy beetle juice and best, his, and best of all, his quiet new friends, the three Billy Goats Fluff. Yeah, and did you like that story? It was really good. It was a different look at the three billy goats and the troll so now next time we read the billy goats gruff you can think about what the what was happening maybe that troll was so mad because he was just tired and he couldn't sleep because everybody kept making noise so the mother goat came up with a good plan she made booties for those goats so he they would be quiet it's kind of like walking around your house with your sh your socks on. You're a lot less quiet than you are if you leave your sneakers on. Do a test. 
make it really quiet at your house and walk with your, your shoes on and you're going to notice that you hear them. But take them off and walk. You're going to discover that you're very, very quiet compared to when your shoes are, are on. So I hope you guys have a great weekend and I'll see you on Monday morning again. Have a nice weekend. Bye.